We started Vagabond's Ladies because there was no other ladies teams on the island and there was a growing interest towards the sport. It was a bit controversial at the time because there was some resistance, as you can imagine. It was a male-dominated sport. When we decided to have a go at the UK leagues, we went in what was like a social league, like a developmental one. We won that, and then we won the next one, and the next one, and then it kind of, it kind of became a bit of a big deal, really, that we were the pioneers doing that. It did, it felt special, but at the same time, didn't feel any different. Just felt like it's just another sport, and women are having a go at it and, and succeeding. Rugby is great for female empowerment. Um, it's one of those sports that it doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, uh, what you do. You know, there's a place for you at a rugby club uh, in the ladies team. There's so many different positions, you know, within the team and also out of the team, there's something for everybody to do. I didn't join Vagabonds until a couple of years after I moved over here. I'd kind of made friends at work, but hadn't really branched out and saw Vagabonds my life has completely changed. We're away all the time. It really gives you a whole new social group and social life to become part of. I think it's been massive in me growing my confidence um, as a player. Sport isn't something I've ever really been good at, but rugby I seem to fit in with. And it doesn't matter if I'm the best, but I'm surrounded by a really supportive group of girls. I think it's, it's fantastic for it. The sport in itself, rugby was very physical and hard hitting and I think it connects everybody a little bit more because we have to be with one another on the field, we're fighting for each other. That makes us a big family, we're all just there for one another. I think we're really, really very involved inside and outside of each other's lives. I feel very proud to be part of Vagabonds Ladies. Um, I started when I was 16 and I've now come up when I'm 24. And there's lots of different age groups, beginners, and everyone helps each other. We all have different jobs, different careers. We are in different places in life. We had people doing their A-levels. We have people that are fully in their career. We have people that are approaching retirement. It is great because we are all one team when we are together on the field. There's a real family community in the ladies' team at Vagabonds. There are mothers and daughters playing on the teams, aunties, cousins, we're mother and daughter. I think there's about six married couples who've met through the club and quite a lot of babies, which is quite exciting. That's the future of Vagabonds underway there. <laughs> The journey's quite fun, we're all sat together, we're all laughing, playing cards, playing games. <laughs> we even warmed up on the boat one time, so we have a lot of fun together. The support from the Steam Packet is invaluable. Being the only ladies rugby team on the island, we have to travel off island to have our fixtures. So having their support allows us to be able to do that and to travel regularly and to compete in a league across. And hopefully if we can grow the numbers, grow the support, then we can just keep growing women's rugby on the Isle of Man and grow involvement. The future for Vagabond's ladies is looking really bright. We've done 25 years. We just want to keep encouraging, you know, giving women in particular the confidence and the courage to come and have a go. I think if that continues and they continue to get involved with the club, it can only get better and the dream is that it just, it just keeps going, that we, we don't have an end point is, is the dream ultimately.